Hey guys, Dan from Voyagist here. Today, I'm gonna to be bringing you my minimalist travel gear list. Oftentimes, when we decide to travel, we're not quite sure what we need to bring along. This gear list is gonna have everything you need, no matter where you travel, to travel for not only as long as you like, but travel lightweight as well. All right, so let's get into the gear. All right, so the number one item that you need while traveling internationally is gonna be your passport. You'd be surprised at how often. It's typically the last thing I pack. I always forget, if you don't have this, you're not going anywhere. So make sure you pack your passport. A hat, it can either be a beanie or a baseball cap. You're gonna need something to protect your head, especially if you're in hot climates. Next, a pair of reliable pants. I typically only travel with one pair of pants. Ideally, a synthetic pair of pants, unlike this canvas one. Typically, pants take several days to collect odors, and if you have a synthetic pair of pants, you can just wash them in a sink. Next, a pair of shorts that you can also use as a bathing suit. Essentially, when you're not wearing your pants, you're gonna be wearing these. Again, you're gonna want all of your clothing options to be synthetic, including the shorts if you can. Next is a good pair of hiking boots. This pair here is uh, from a company called Lems. These are the Boulder Boot. Super lightweight, minimalist design. They pack up really small, super flexible. There should be a link for a review coming soon right up here. Next is a belt. This one's leather. Again, you're gonna want something synthetic if you can. I just haven't upgraded yet. Ideally too, if you have something that's double-sided, that way black or brown, you're always gonna be matching. Next, you're gonna want a uh, light base layer, long sleeve. This one here is made out of merino wool, which is a great option. It keeps you cool in the summer, keeps you warm in the winter. Also, merino wool does a great job at keeping out odors too. Great for plane travel. Also great if you're just walking around town and there's a little bit of chill in the air. Next, you're gonna want at least one long sleeve collared shirt. If you're gonna be traveling in Europe, actually pretty much anywhere, there are going to be times when you're going to want to dress a little bit nicer, just have something with a collar. There are some great synthetic options out there from companies like Patagonia. You're going to want at least two synthetic lightweight shirts. This will be the main shirt that you're wearing underneath all of your clothes. These ones that I've been using are just like a workout shirt from Nike. There's some great options from pretty much every outdoor company that might work a little bit better than this. But essentially the premise is the same with all your other clothing. You're going to want it to be synthetic. That way you can wash it in a sink and you don't have to worry about paying for washing at a hostel. It's gonna do a better job wicking away sweat from your body. I always carry two of these guys that way. You can wash one while you're wearing the other. In addition to boots, you're also gonna want a pair of sandals. These are the Z Trail by Zero Shoes. Uh, check out my review right up here. These are great. Uh, I use these for showering, walking around town, Anytime the weather's really nice, I'm gonna be wearing these instead of my boots. So another great item I love having with me whenever I travel is a shoe bag. Whatever pair of shoes I'm not wearing, my other pair of shoes is gonna be inside this guy. That way I don't have to worry about any dirt or debris getting on my other clothing. All right, so I know I'm gonna kinda sound like a broken record here, but my next item of clothing, I do have a synthetic pair of underwear. Again, synthetic, always the best. These guys are the Ex Officio Give and Go Boxers. They're pretty popular. You can wear these for a couple of days before you need to wash them, before they get really nasty. I like to bring three pairs of these, just in case I feel like being lazy. I always have that third pair that'll be clean. So for socks, it really just kind of depends. If you're gonna be wearing boots, I usually recommend a lightweight wool sock. Wool's gonna be a lot better at managing moisture as well as being more comfortable. Additionally, I love wearing sock liners. This is just an extra layer in between your foot and the sock that does a great job of wicking away moisture. The whole point of having your feet dry and comfortable is to prevent blisters, and these do an excellent job at that. You can get these in several different lengths. Additionally, another benefit of having the sock liner is that it's gonna extend the life of your actual socks a little bit longer so you can get away without washing them for maybe an extra day with these guys. Next, I have a microfiber travel towel. And this guy, I, I did actually buy the larger size. I ended up cutting it in half just because with the microfiber, you don't really need a big towel to dry yourself off. Even something as small as this is enough to dry your whole body. I like this one from Sea to Summit because it has this extra hoop on the end here so you can hang it up outside the shower. So yeah, 
The microfiber towel, super useful. They dry really fast, great for traveling. So next is my toiletry and first aid kit. First thing in my toiletry kit I have is Dr. Bronner's soap. I use this not only for washing my hands and body, but my clothes as well. It's a really great natural all-purpose cleaner. I also like to carry a little bottle of shampoo. This one I stole from a hotel. Dr. Brunner's is great, but I just prefer the feel of normal shampoo for washing my hair. Another thing I typically carry, which I just started carrying, is actually a mask and a set of earplugs. I used these on my recent trip to San Francisco. These things made my hostel stay way more comfortable. Next I just have a small thing of sunblock. Can't go wrong with this guy. Never know when you're gonna need it. Toothbrush cut in half. Save a little bit of weight. Really important, make sure you get a cover for your toothbrush. That way it just kind of contains all the nastiness. Condom, because you never know when you're gonna need it. Toothpaste, this one I bought actually in Germany. You can pretty much find these anywhere. Great to have a small travel size one. With my toes, I also carry a small first aid kit with just some basic items. I'll go through this in a different video. Lastly, as far as toiletry goes, I have deodorant. And I prefer this one just because it's natural. Next thing that I always have to have whenever I travel is sunglasses. These guys are great. Uh, these are just like a $10 pair bought on Amazon. I don't recommend traveling with expensive sunglasses. That way if you lose them, no big deal. All right, then as far as electronics go, you don't really need to bring too much. You're definitely gonna want to at least bring a camera. This one here is just kind of an older GoPro that I use sometimes when I travel. You're gonna want something to document your adventures besides just your phone. That way in case something happens to your phone, you got the backup here. Plus, these guys are great for getting time lapses, great for traveling when you're near water. So anywhere, Hawaii, Southeast Asia, any kind of wet locale, you're gonna want something that's waterproof. This one I've mentioned in a past video before, but you're gonna wanna make sure that you have a universal charger. This guy is gonna have ports for pretty much every country. It's got a USB on the bottom as well, so you can charge a couple things at once. And one of the last and perhaps the most important electronics that I like to bring is a battery bank. This one here is by Anker. You can get this one online. It's pretty cheap. I love it because it has two USB ports here so I can charge my phone as well as a camera at the same time. Super useful. The battery bank itself holds up to seven phone charges at once. So if you're going to be away from a plug, if you're going to be outdoors, this is a great accessory to have. Next, another really important item that often slips our mind, a watch. Watch is really important while you're traveling. This is gonna make sure you don't miss your train, your flight. If your phone's dead or if you just can't get to it, this is gonna save you. Another really important thing that often slips people's mind is a day pack. I just have like a older black Jansport backpack from when I was in school. Ideally, you're gonna want a day pack that's super light and super packable. This way you can bring your camera gear, maybe an extra set of clothes, some snacks, whenever you're traveling outside of your hostel for the day. Next, we have a water bottle. If you're traveling in places like Europe or Australia, New Zealand, water bottles are great. This will save you a ton of money. You can fill up your bottle with tap water or with fountains, and that way you don't have to buy water along the way. I got through my entire European trip without paying for a single bottle of water, all because I had this guy. So the next item is going to be a good raincoat. No matter where you travel, you're going to want to bring a rain layer just in case, because you never know when the weather's going to turn. Ideally, you'll get one like this from the North Face that can pack into itself. It actually packs into its own pocket. It's super lightweight as well. The next item is going to be a lock. This guy I just bought at a hostel. You can get a more lightweight one online. Ideally one that has a cable as well so you can tie stuff to it. You're going to want a lock just in case your hostel doesn't have its own lock. That way when you leave your hostel for the day you know your stuff is secure and nobody's going to take anything. In addition to your outer rain shell and your wool base layer, you're going to want to have an insulating layer in between just in case you're headed to a cold climate. A puffy jacket like this is great. Additionally, down and synthetic insulation typically packs down really small so it's great for traveling. And lastly, for the clothes item, a pair of gloves. Again, synthetic works best. If you're gonna be traveling in Southeast Asia or somewhere else warm, you probably don't need gloves. If you're going somewhere like Iceland, Europe, Australia, New Zealand during the winter time, gloves are a must. All right, so the very last thing I recommend is bring $100 in cash just in case. This is your emergency fund. 
if your wallet gets stolen or you've run out of money, this is your last option. I recommend just having US dollars that way. You can go to any bank and it's gonna be accepted. All right guys, so that is my essential minimalist packing list for travel. I'll go ahead and put a full list down below in the video description. Thanks for watching. As always, I'm gonna be posting every other Sunday, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more. And if you like this video, you found it useful, go ahead and hit that like button as well. Thanks, until next time, keep traveling.